Hi, so um, we are SF Open Referral. This is only a fraction of my amazing team. Uh, my name is April, I am a project lead. And um, so what our project is about is um, we are trying to improve the quality of social services delivery by making information about them easy to access, uh, share, and maintain by creating a um, universal open source data standard and set of best practices. Um, there are three main aspects to our project, um, building and testing these standards, um, creating lightweight tools to implement and support it, and also uh, working with government agencies to ensure adoption. Um, so I'm going to hand the mic over to Jarrett, who's going to tell you about our grand vision. Thanks, April. Um, so I was really excited to join the team because uh, there's just a huge amount of opportunity with the impact that this project could have, and I've personally experienced it, and I was passionate about it to join, um, but also the, the understanding of the gravity of the problem and the people that are being helped. Um, so one of the things that you know we're focused on, is there a special spot? Ah, there we go. Um, is really understanding that we all, at one point in our life, uh, go through a time when we need some sort of social service. Whether that be, you know, you lose your job, it could be that you have some sort of health uh, issue of the body and the mind, it could be that you're elderly and you need some sort of service. Um, there's always a time when we need some sort of help. And, you know, if you take John here, it could be that he lost his job in San Francisco, housing is, ex is expensive, you end up on the street, um, and then you don't have the food to survive. And what, what John really needs right now is. Uh, a connection. He needs somebody out there in the community. Uh, is a person with help, right? And that person with help could be a friend or a family member, but most often they're a service provider, or in this case, Susan's a social worker. Uh, and all Susan does is talk to people like John all day long, right? What are your problems? And the challenge here is it's really hard to connect and meet these people to actually go and find the Susans of the world and the services that you can help that can help you. It just takes a minute. Um, and, and we're doing a lot in San Francisco. There are a lot of Susans, there are a lot of services, there are a lot of things that, that are out there to help. Um, sorry, scoot. The challenge is that there, there are a lot of times in binders they're not even in digital information. Half this information on the services, where they are, if they're open, all these things turn into basically a maze. It's, it's really hard for anyone like John to A, know these services exist, um, but then go out and find them. So wh what ends up happening is as John goes down this journey and tries to find these services, there's a lot more obstacles that pop up. Right, what you have is all these issues with, this is too far, I don't have a car, or this service isn't open, or the dreaded word, I'm not eligible for this service. And how would you ever know? The challenge is that Susan's going on this journey. I have a friend who, who is actually an Alameda County uh, Child Protective Services person, and she said she spends five hours trying to apply for some sort of service for somebody, only to find out there's a waiting list. Actually, Corey was telling us the housing waiting list is years, years, t dozens of years just to wait to get on a housing list. The challenge is it, it, this all is happening and what John has an option to do is keep doing what he's doing. He could just give up right, and, and live on the street or a, a bigger challenge is you know, a lot of things that are happening today, right? A quarter of the people that are shot by police have mental illness was just was written in the Washington Post. There's a whole bunch of bad things that happen here. Whoa. So I'm going to pass it over to April. <laughs> I've taken way too long and talk about the actual platform. Okay, so that was a really great um, uh, summary of what people actually face going through this. Um, so what I was going to do was take you through a bunch of our uh, technical information, which you can conveniently all find on our GitHub. So please visit us there, uh, give us comments. Um, so this is, uh, this is what we're aiming for. Um, these are our success metrics. Um, 
these are our goals for the next uh, quarter. Uh, we want to be able to test our spec and our beta site. Uh, we need to be able to create a sustainable uh, plan so that we continue on development. And we also are looking for additional uh, social service agency partners. Um, so yeah, here's the rest of the team. And thanks for listening. Please get in touch. Hey, does anyone have any questions? Yeah, in the back. So you talked about, uh, the question is that you talked about different social service agencies. Are some areas uh, more ready for this initially than others? Uh, so the answer is yes. Uh, we are currently um, working with organizations who uh, serve the homeless and who also serve people exiting the prison system. So there's a lot of overlap right there. Um, we're also uh, looking for um, additional agencies that overlap with those as well. So to create our proof of concept, we need to have pools of similar services. So basically, services that are similar to those. Cool. Uh, yeah. Uh, are you specifically focused on San Francisco or beyond? Uh, for the moment, uh, we want to launch in San Francisco first, but we do want to expand to the greater Bay Area, and hopefully the world. So how does open referral fit into existing si systems, i.e. Link SF and One Degree? I'm glad you asked that question. So we're actually, um, for our API, we're actually hacking on top of a product called um, LinkSF, which is built by Zendesk. Um, so that's what we're using for our front end. Um, one degree, we haven't interacted with them much, but the difference that our project brings is that we're actually using we're actually creating a new data model, model and a set of standards. I mean, the standards that are out there right now are basically just lists of terms that are kind of loosely organized, and ours is much more organized. Cool. Well, thank you guys so much. Um, so we're going to, yeah, give them a round of applause. <laughs> Woo.